We've just had some massive news coming out of Gamescom, talking about Arena, so we have more information on when it's actually going to be releasing, about the matchmaking, the game modes, the weapon kits, all of that, but there's one specific thing what I want to talk about today, what actually concerns me very slightly, and this was released on their website. So if we jump over to their website and scroll down, this is the bit that I wanted to talk about. So quoting exactly from BSG, two games, one character. Winning games and your character level, skills and weapon mastery will grow in both EFT Arena and Escape from Tarkov and vice versa. Now, what a lot of people have been talking about is the leveling system of the cross progression. So when you level up on EFT, you will then cross progress into arena and then vice versa the other way. So when you're playing games in arena, you'll get kills, get XP for doing stuff, complete matches. Afterwards, you'll get experience, will then level your character up. And then that's also conjoined with your Escape from Tarkov character as well. Now, I recently just released a video on TikTok uh, going over my concerns about this, talking about just the leveling alone because of people getting in on the early wipe because this is when arena is supposed to be releasing from what we've heard at the, in december when the next wipe is supposed to be happening so i was worried about people getting onto the very beginning of the wipe jumping on arena be able to grind up loads of xp really quickly in the first day getting to level 15 having that kind of pay to win advantage over people who just own EFT being able to get to the flea market super fast over them because you can consistently get more XP because you have a, a respawn system like you would in a normal FPS shooter but it has been confirmed with some gameplay that released there we actually got some official gameplay looking at arena and how the game modes are actually going to play out and in this it did show from one full match you got around about 1500 XP what you know is not a lot so thankfully this has been confirmed um, this is not going to be an issue by the looks of things you'll get far less xp in arena in comparison to escape from tarkov what i think is definitely definitely the right move to go and i did mention this in my video and it did actually come with some controversy to be fair there was a lot of people um in that video who were going on about oh this is going to be not even a problem whatsoever why are you even talking about it and then there were some people agreeing with me as well so it's kind of hard to say uh, what was right and wrong but uh, by the looks of things bsg did end up going with my suggestion uh, obviously they would have made the decision before I even made the video but this is what my thought process was at the time and they end up going with a lower XP model for arena so it can't overpower and take over in escape from Tarkov but that is actually not the main talking point of today it's not the thing I'm worried about the most it's not the general leveling it's actually the thing they say on the website what is the um, level and skill weapon mastering that I'm more concerned about because as we know in escape from Tarkov the skills and the weapon mastering actually probably makes one of the biggest differences differences in the game so talking about somebody who's got a low leveling in their perks and also their weapon mastery in comparison to somebody who's got really high it will make such a huge difference such a huge difference so let's just talk about one of the skills for instance strength low level strength versus high level strength we all know when you have high level strength the advantage you get to the max level when none of your weight on any of your equipment weighs anything so you can move around the map so so quickly and get into places where you couldn't before in comparison to somebody who's super low level now why i think this is going to be a problem and it kind of confirms it from the footage that we saw today is that the weapon and skill mastering seems to be the same as what it is in escape from tarkov and again talking about the weapon mastering not even talking about just the normal soft skills with like AR mastery for instance to so say let's you're playing arena for two or three days straight and you just purely used AR and you're just constantly fighting people all the time with AR the more you use that gun the better you come at using it so it increases the ergonomics it's going to decrease the recoil that you have with it the, the the ready weapon speed when you pull it out all of this stuff is going to greatly help you when it comes to transitioning back into escape from Tarkov so for instance you know at the beginning of the wipe everyone knows when you pick up the guns you're terribly using them because they're just so wacky you've got no mastery for anything you can't put attachments on it but it's been shown by people at the end of the wipe when you have like max level mastery on weapons and you go and pick up one of those basic weapons with no attachments on it the recall reduction that you get on them because of the weapon mastery is insane so this is going to be a massive issue if they do not 
tone it back same as what they have with the leveling system the normal progression leveling system because like you said people said in the comments what i do agree with my tiktok video and said if you're getting so many levels very quickly in arena but you're not doing the tasks you're not going to get ahead because you're not actually going to be able to unlock those extra trade levels you're still going to have to task and they're very right about that that is true but when it comes to the soft skills and also the weapon mastery that is a completely different ball game that is completely tied to leveling nothing to do with another outsource like the uh, quests in Tarkov holding you back on that. It's just completely tied to the leveling itself. What is crazy? So BSG, you really need to be very careful of this. We'll, we'll, we'll be, we will we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be. <laughs> because you could end up ruining December wipe because you're going to again give that massive advantage to those people who have arena to the people who don't and we don't want to promote a pay to win system I honestly know that we kind of do slightly have one and you, you're silly for disagreeing that currently Escape from Tarkov is a slight pay to win with EOD account for instance like the so much bigger stash size that you get from the get go or the bigger container to fit more stuff to make more money and the biggest thing of all the extra trader level and this is coming from a person who played in the standard account for three years before I even upgraded to EOD so I can tell you the upgrade and the difference it makes from going from EOD from the standard account it gives you a massive advantage especially in that trade level um, add-on as well but by all means don't take this as me bashing the game and saying it's the wrong thing I do think the cross leveling thing could work and I definitely like the idea of it I just feel like it needs to be implemented very carefully because coming from somebody who's played Escape from Tarkov for a long time and somebody's definitely going to be playing Arena, I like the idea of not being having to jump between both games and having complete different levels. So say I just play Escape from Tarkov for ages at the beginning of the way, but then leave Arena alone, and then I get into Arena about two months later and I'm super far behind everybody else because I've just been playing Tarkov and not actually been playing Arena. So the cross-progression thing, I said, can work. And I do think it's a good implementation from there. Like I said, just needs to be implemented very carefully. But I'd be really Really interested to hear what you guys think about this in the comment section below um like i said whether you think this is a good idea or you think it's a bad idea or maybe even just what you think they could do to change or implement it a little bit better because you could end up seeing the video and seeing the comments so you never know but if you want to see some more stuff from me i recently just did a challenge video where i go over the pre-built presets that just got added in this wipe and i had an absolute blast using the first one it's hopefully going to be continuous series so check that out here and if you want to check out my live streams on twitch every other day link in the bio for that and remember to like and subscribe for more.